Welcome to this presentation by Sedation Systems, LLC, explaining the importance of scavenging to capture and eliminate the exhaled nitrous oxide during medical procedures. We are going to demonstrate the amount of exhaled nitrous oxide that will be released into a procedure room every minute of using a 50 to 50 demand nitrous system if scavenging is not used. This is based on the breaths per minute for an average adult and the volume of air for each breath in a procedure room that is 10 by 14 by 9. Most procedure rooms are smaller, so the concentration of unscavenged nitrous would actually be greater. First, some basic physics. Nitrous does not sink to the floor of a room. All gases diffuse from areas of high concentration to areas of low concentration, quickly filling a room. Each minute of using a 50 to 50 demand system without scavenging will release almost four times the maximum recommended exposure, which is set by NIOSH at 25 ppm. After 30 minutes, 100 times the OSHA maximum amount of nitrous will have been released in the room. HVAC systems slowly dilute the nitrous in the procedure room by spreading it throughout the office, so everyone working throughout the office will be exposed to nitrous oxide. It is an absolute contraindication to expose women in their first trimester to nitrous. It significantly increases the risk of miscarriage. Only the Nitrosil nitrous system can scavenge exhaled nitrous even when wall suction is not available. This is done using the easily installed patented vent connector and the FDA cleared mini scav vacuum pump only available from Nitrosil. Studies have shown that as little as five hours per week of occupational exposure to exhaled, non-scavenged nitrous gas can result in reduced fertility, miscarriages, renal, hepatic, and neurologic disease per CDC, NIOSH, and OSHA. Avoid the risk of unscavenged nitrous contamination by using the Nitrosil nitrous system. If you already have a nitrous system that does not scavenge, simply purchase the Mini Scav Nitrous Scavenger to eliminate the exhaled nitrous and use the Nitrosil circuit to minimize escape of nitrous into the room.